Hi, I'm Sheena Strader from L2L Support, and welcome to this tips and tricks video on creating resource shifts. Resource shifts are used to set up production and maintenance shift schedules. Shifts are set up as a pattern of days and hours that will repeat itself. This allows you to enter rotating patterns by days or hours. Shifts are required if you are using the production module or for dispatch and maintenance if you are tracking OA. Now let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is log into your L2L user account and be sure you have administrator permissions. Now you will select setup in the left hand side of your menu. Here you will see resource setup. Choose resource and production shifts. Here you will select add new. When creating shifts, you will want to define all the shifts that you are running within your plant. For example, shift A, B, or C, or day shift, evening shift, etc. Let's start with entering our shift name. We'll go with day shift A. Next, you'll enter shift start date. This is the day you'd like to start your shift pattern. I will keep Monday. Be sure the active box is selected. Next, we'll add one shift time and proceed with adding additional days. Please note this uses military time. There is a slider bar, or you can choose to free type. I will choose shift 6 to 1600. Then I will select add. This shift will work Monday through Friday. For days off, be sure to select the day off checkbox. Once you have finished your pattern, the shift setup is complete. The pattern will now cycle to the end of the day and repeat. No, if you have a shift that rotates every two weeks, you will enter 14 days here. Every month would be 30 days. Next, set the applicable production lines or cells associated with the shift. It is important to note, when assigning lines, you need to make sure you have no overlapping shifts. For example, shift A ends at 4 p.m. and shift B starts at 3.55 p.m. As this will throw off your metrics and L12 will not allow you to schedule those shifts. Lastly, you will set the applicable users you want to assign to the shift. Then click Save. Congratulations, you have officially created your first resource shift. Thank you for watching. If you have any additional questions, feel free to go watch our other tips and tricks videos or reach out to us at L2L Support.